ですか Hello, welcome back to the bottom. I kind of messed up the clap. I ended up clapping like that.、Uh, hello, welcome back to the bottom. My name is Beast. Today we're back with、uh, Real Joker, as explained in the community post. I'll be playing this one today because,、uh, yeah. Like, I, I, may, I asked y'all l to decide what, what, about who to go for first, Hinata or Maya. Because at the time I couldn't decide, but after some thought, I really want to go for Maya first. However, I already put out the poll. Had I not made the poll, I could have just like argued, okay, maybe three people told me to go Hinata, which isn't that much info. So I'm just gonna go Maya since I suddenly feel like going for Maya. However, since I made the poll, and、uh, I don't know how many people fucking voted on there. I can't really do that anymore. So I decided to make a new poll. If it's fine for me to go for Maya, or if I will be toppled like the tyrant I am if I were to, you know,、uh, not, not, <laughs> not respect the opinion of the masses. Anyways,、uh, so yeah, that's the situation. That's what's going on. So we'll be going ahead and play. We'll be playing more Riddle Joker now. There we go. Also, I need my beer. Probably should. Honestly, I probably shouldn't drink any beer right now because, by God, I ate way too much for dinner. I, I feel ready to burst, is what I'm trying to say. But hey. Sometimes sacrifices must be made in the pursuit of comedy. <laughs> Quiet. Also, apparently, Mayo's voice actress is the same one as Yoshino's in IX Shitel. For a second, I thought she didn't have a shirt on and I was going to scream. Before you mistake what I'm trying to say here, I would have screamed in delight. Also, she has two windows. She's a lucky little shit. She's got a. She's got a.、Uh, she's got a room at the end of the complex. Suddenly I'm hearing the Yoshino now that I've been told. Why am I such a retard? I was also told that apparently Hazuki is somebody I should recognize. Yoji to you, Hoda, they were nine days ago. Sono, what does your mother to Mother Timoy nine or day? Sabish, the coconic chatta? One son or Tayote Muradinante, go away. This color, Senpai. Kyo has Shimboko of Kamera to many more. Yep, I called this one last part. Wooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
<laughs> so now I'm worried. Are there, are there gonna be dude sprites in this? There weren't any descendant in Banka. So we should be fine. I feel like that's supposed to be a CG here. She's going to be the mega lesbian in Mayu's mind from this day onward. Did we just like, okay, it's roughly them point where it would be on you? Something? You have pants, so it should be fine. Not alone. <laughs> <laughs> This video isn't gonna be demonetized, is it? Maya just came, didn't she?
<risos> Esse vídeo é o e Martas. You know what? Let's, let, just in case, let's get the screenshot. I'm sorry, I re really, I mean it. I don't know how to make it up to, up to you. An accident. A very unfortunate accident. And I totally realized what kind of awful situation I put you in because of my mistake. I'll do anything to earn your forgiveness, none of me. I do. I promise. Too easy. Also pout. Thanks. Speaking of which, uh, how'd your first day of classes go? Well, everyone makes those mistakes, so don't let it get to you. If anything, it probably makes you come across as more relatable. relatable. Also something that I did before I started recording, I skipped ahead to the point where the opening starts playing again and uh, there's a button on my mouse that makes it so let me just like This is normally the speed at which I can maximum scroll right now. Now let's go back to the bottom. Now I will click this handy button and suddenly... That was one swipe. It's still going. Let's try this again. Can you hear him hear a spin, I think? No idea if that, that was actually picked up. And I don't think you can actually scroll up any further from this point on. <laughs> I skipped all the way to the start of the game with one swipe! What is this mouse?! It's too dangerous to be left alive! I'm sorry, I really am! That makes me feel a bit better. Like I said, I really will make it up to you. I know. So, on a more serious note, any progress on the security stuff? So now we just have to hope this gets us in. The sheet gets us in. Same。サトル君の方こそ下調べは済んだの? Honest to God, something that would be actually hilarious is if, uh, hilarious is if not, not like Mayu uh, outside of Mayu's route just kind of got a girl crush on Nanami because of this. Uh, yep, I think I got a good grasp on where everything's located. Thanks to my photographic memory, memorizing is memorizing it's memorizing it's cake. Whoops. Photographic memory, also sometimes called eidetic memory, is the ability of, of the brain to store sight and vividly recall them after exposure. My photogenic memory isn't a result of any astral ability. The thing is, all people have this kind of memory during early childhood. 
They just usually lose it gradually as they age into adulthood. I'm no exception to that. I don't have photographic me memory by nature. However, I can temporarily regain access to that latent neural function by essentially energizing my brain. Okay, uh, something that I ha talked about with someone outside of... Uh, like, uh, something that, that I talked about where... With, uh, something that I talked about with someone outside of the recording is that my idea was maybe the whole ability what he has is n to, the ability to negate forces acting upon him. That's how he basically gets the the physical enhancement. Like if you pick someone up, he negates the force of gravity pushing the object down onto his hand. When he like runs, he negates the force of the wind pressure, slowing him down. And that's how he also got that first one, but now I'm no longer so sure. Maybe overall energy control? I don't know. That is my true astral ability. Neural, mani um, neural manipulation. There we go. Now we know it. The ability we decided to register in the AIMS database, for me, physical enhancement, works on the same principle as hysterical strength. By manipulating my brain, I can force it to maximize power output. So it's very possible for me to strain my muscles and even break a bone if I go overboard. This also applies to my photographic memory. Well, maybe. I get a real awful headache if I use it too much. Nah, I'm good. Anyway, you ready to start this? However, we have learned that its ability can only use on himself. Watch out, there's a camera over there, so don't move too far to the left. Another camera, cut down. Over here. Make our way through the thicket, crouching and dodging around the view of the cameras. But I feel here. Like I really want to want the main character to just sneak past like buddy I feel ya. I myself currently do not feel him. It's fucking cold as hell outside. There are two security guards passing by in front of us. Okay, they're gone. You ready? She's tapping away on her tablet. We're hard at, we're hard at work. That tablet is currently connected to the school's security system. Three minutes. That's more than plenty. I approach the building and start pumping energy into my body. Lift on me easily and start to scale the side of the building like some sort of bug. If I find an open, I open window and hop in. Is he actually like sticking to the walls using like electromagnetism or something? Because here's the thing, he says neuron control, but neuron control is basically just like electrical impulse pulses. Like, wouldn't he been able to be able to just, like, generally and control the nerves of a person? Uh, his own nerves, I suppose. After successfully infiltrating the building, we walk through the hallways and find Shikibes Senpai's lab. No one that's left us to see whether or not door will open. Do it, Nanami. Uh. She walks up to the sensor and puts the gel, sh gel sheet on it. But the sensor shows no response. Uh, I wonder why it's not working. After heavy sighs, we both exchange looks. Guess I'll have to change and think of something else. We were about to turn around, dead set on giving up. But right at that moment, we heard a light clicking noise, and uh, signaling the, that the door had been unlocked. <laughs> yeah, the door just opened. 
After exchanging an odd, I grip the knob and turn. And the door opens just like that. The room is dark, and nobody seems to be inside. Those folders are placed very precariously. I quickly pull Nanami inside, and close and lock the door. Put my ear up to it and listen for a few seconds, but I hear nothing. After that, I go over to the window and look outside. Nobody there either. There's not a single sound to be heard. Looks like we've managed to sneak in unnoticed. Thank goodness, it worked. We're about to give up, too. Don't forget the real objective is what comes now. Almost there. Yeah, that's the tablet in hand, looking down at it. The bluish light from it illuminates her face in the midst of this darkness. Oh, nothing. I was just wondering why you aren't frantically tapping away at some keyboard. You know, like hackers always do in TV shows and movies. Ah. Anyway, uh, how much longer do you think it'll be? うーん。完全隔離して安心してるのかな。侵入を想定してない感じがする。セキュリティがそこまで厳しくないから、もうすぐだと思うんだよね。あ、行ってるそばから行けた。あとはちょちょいっと魔法をかければ完了と。Yeah, I like hey, I like that one. It'd make for a great movie line. <laughs> well, joking aside, are you in the Ames database now? Uh,ちょっと待って。検索、検索。えっと、検索する方法はどこだろう。こっちは違う。こっち？ああ、あった。これだ。それで。調べるアストラル能力は認識阻害だっけ。Yep. How many are there? えっとね。登録されてるのは社会人が一人に学生が一人。両方とも男の人だよ。The profiles of are there profiles of them in there? Pictures would be great. うん。写真も登録されてるから。はい、これ。the adult is Ono Kiyokuni. He's a researcher doing astron stuff for the for a chemical company. His weight height is 183 centimeters, and his weight is 85 kilograms. He is no beast, but still a little pudgy. He has a very look, rugged-looking face, fitting for his large physique. Doesn't seem like much of a weakling to me. <laughs> Now for the student. His name is uh, Suga Hideto, and he's a first year in the school. Height 168 centimeters, weight 48 kilograms. Contrast to the adult, he's extremely lean. Also wears glasses. Definitely fits the image of the guy we're looking for. But we shouldn't be too hasty. You can always judge a book by its cover. Either way, I'll store both their images with the my. Photographic memory, just in case. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, no point in staying here any longer. But right as she starts fiddling with her tablet, you hear an alarm go off somewhere outside. Shit! It's outside, so it should be an intruder outside. I run up to the window and peek outside cautiously. It's about a few people hect hectically running around. But weirdly enough, they're not running towards the school building. In fact, they're going away from it. <laughs> Caught 
Calm down, Anami. Have you been kicked out of the network? This is the perfect opportunity. This is the opportunity to sneak back. It's probably someone else who got caught. Go ahead and log off the network. Do it calmly, don't panic. I'll go and see what's going on outside. I understand your concerns, but I have to make sure we have an escape path secured. We won't be gone long, so can you finish up things here in the meantime? I really doubt that'll happen, but um... Use your uniform, uniform stealth ability and try to keep quiet. Oh, and don't leave the room. But if you have to, for whatever reason, try to at least stay inside the school building. I'll come and save you as soon as I can. Lock the door behind me, okay? Turn around and reach for the door, but she stops me one last time. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be fine. See you in a bit, Nanami. As I run through the hallway, clo cloaked with my stealth function, I activate my ability. Energize my brain, heightening all my five senses. Even though I can manipulate my brain, there's a natural limit to everything I can do. But the amount that I can heighten my senses by is more than enough. Okay, there's def de de definitely isn't anyone in the building. So the security guards must be focused on something outside. Maybe someone is trying to sneak on campus. But first I need to get out of here and see what's going on. あ、いえ、その、すみません。少しだけ。あ、山らなければいけないのはこちらです。ごめんなさい。色々と頼ることが多くて。今週はもう仕事の予定もありません。ゆっくりしてください。はい。ありがとうございます。それでは先生、私は
さか学院の敷地内にまで入ってくる人がいるなんてでもどうやって中まで入ってきたんだろうそれを誘導した人間がいるということだなっはい。Way back. Which I'm assuming means she was on her way back from that interview she had mentioned during lunch today. She's kicking and screaming as the, these two men in all black faces covered in ski masks try to seize her. Well, that's near to fit right in given the outfit I'm wearing right now. But anyway! What the hell is going on? We should go ahead and assume these guys. These are the guys that triggered the alarm. The alarm. If that were the case, then where's the security? I think they'd come rushing over. Who are these people and what are they after? Gohei mentioned Mitsukasa having some rather rabid fans, but I have an inkling that these fellows aren't exactly fans of hers. They give off a criminal vibe. Thing is, they're actually in a space that's not covered by the security cameras right now. t e l l me they did that intentionally. <laughs> One of the men suddenly pulls out a knife. This is bad, really bad. About to put the blade against her neck. Yet, security or anyone else might, that might save her is nowhere in sight. Actually, on second thought,、uh, what would be, they even be able to do? Those men already have her at knife point. Saving her is my priority. My own very crucial mission to worry about. If I try anything here, it could potentially put that very crucial mission in jeopardy. No, I shouldn't step in, but I can't just sit back and watch this. Unless those bastards are about to hurt her. Bring it to motion, leaving my covered location. I make a beeline for the two men in black. Get away from her! My first course of action is to draw their attention towards me. Got him! <laughs> They both stare at me, flabbergasted. This is the perfect opening for me to do something. The initial shock will wear off after a second or two, so I have to make something happen that time. Get the guy with the knife on Mitsukasa! <laughs> I slam my elbow into his abdomen, knocking him away from her. It makes him stagger some, however, he doesn't collapse and, and regains his balance shortly after. I struck him in a muscle area, too. I felt the heart of tissue. I knew these guys weren't amateurs. I dart back towards him, wasting no time, and knock him, on the,、uh, knock him in the air. With that uppercut to the chin, his body makes a vertical dive to the ground and he loses consciousness. So he lets one down. The other guy has regained his composure now and is glaring at me menacingly. He closes in on me with fluid movements. I look at his hand and see a knife in it. He immediately tries to slash me once he's in range. But my uniform stealth works wonders in this darkness. It should be impossible for him to ascertain my precise location. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The situation is fully in my control. I continue dodging his attempts with ease. Rage and impatience is, grand impatience is gradually starting to make his movements sloppier. Once I find a good opening, I instantly grab his arm and lock it. The man drops his knife as he groans in pain. But to have him fully restrained, I hit him with one last blow. His body goes limp and, limp and he sinks to the ground unconscious. Them out of the way, I've now taken out both of the assailants. But I still have one more thing to worry about. Here's the question Did she recognize his voice or didn't she? I forgot, I'm a fucking moron. I forgot the part. Mmm. Well, shit. I'm so screwed! It's an innocent girl in serious danger. Considering her life was threatened, I don't regret doing what I did in the slightest. Honestly, this was the reason I joined the SFD in the first place. I wanted to use my powers to help others. I know I'll likely receive punishment for 
of some sort for this, but I was prepared to do that when I stepped in. Still, though, now my dad has to deal with this mess I've created, with this mess I've created, and I feel a bit bad about that. Maybe I could just not report this? Now, what am I thinking? That's a terrible idea. I'll report everything faithfully and accept whatever punishment I'm given. The stealth function of my uniform is still in effect, so you can't have seen my face. I think I can think about the repercussions later. First, I need to get out of here ASAP. But the instant I try to move my foot, a hand grabs it. <laughs> ah! Did I not hit him hard enough? The guy I knocked out first is back up. He regained consciousness a lot quicker than I anticipated. He uh, lifts his arm and slashes my flank with his knife. Or would have. It's cause was blocking the way. It's Kasa! She was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. After the knife, sli knife slices her, she tumbles back lifelessly. You son of a bitch! Sent the man flying with a strong kick to the head. Hopefully he should be out for good this time. Leaving him, I run over to Mitsukasa who's lying on the ground. Are you okay? <laughs> Calm down and not with those guys, I won't hurt you! <laughs> I deactivate stealth mode and skip the explanation. Worry about that later, we need to take care of that laceration on your chest first. If we don't stop the bleeding quick, you'll be in big, big trouble. Should I make that? You know, fuck it. I'll make that the first. How? That guy slashed you with his knife! I saw it with my own eyes, so it can't be a misunderstanding. Quick, show me the wound. I need to apply first aid ASAP. Are you trying to tell me that you slashed right down the cleavage and missed everything? tries to slide back away from me, frightened. But I quickly and forcefully pry away the arm she's using to hold down her chest area. Plop. Oh my god, does she use padding? Torn fabric of her shirt cut, shuts open, exposing her cleavage. A knife cut deep. I can see parts of her bra and embarrassing enough. And, but now isn't the time for that. Actually, the fact that uh, even her bra was cut in half only goes to show that this... Really, what, what, what this really was a deep cut. But there's uh, one thing that doesn't quite add up. Where's the blood? If it cut that severe, it makes no sense for there no, being no blood at all. I noticed something else on the ground, however. Are those breasts? <laughs> Wait. What are these? Possibility that part of her cleavage had been cut off actually crossed my mind for a second, but uh, that doesn't seem to be what I'm looking at. It's something oblong shaped and made of fabric. I've never actually seen them before, but I think I do know what these are. Breast pads. Not just one, too, there's like three. <laughs> oh, she's. She's dead inside. Look at her. <laughs> Actually, on second glance, there's more than just cloth pads. Beneath a normal bra, there's a second silicone bra. She really went the extra mile with those paddings. So I guess this means that the knife cut deep, but wasn't able to penetrate the thick layer of breast of her breast paddings. I'd even say that her life itself was saved due to the noble sacrifice of her pads. Back to the problem at hand. I need to do something to calm the situation. Her eyes are open as wide as they physically can, and she's about. To, she's absolutely petrified. But, uh, what can I do? They say that every girl has her secrets, but, uh, this seems to be the kind of deep secret that she wouldn't ever even share with her closest female friends. A guy! A guy! Have now stumbled upon it by accident.
face is red as a tomato. As he looks about ready, as he, as he looks about to cry at any second. Calm down, just calm down. Need some guards to come apprehend the two assailants, but the situation I'm currently in doesn't paint a pretty picture of me. Okay, just take a deep breath and think things through. L look, I'm sorry, I just thought you were seriously injured and, well, panicked. I suppose to know the pads blocked the impact. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What is that expression? I'm scared. Help. I mean, I'm still having disbelief, but it is what it is. I guess the true here of the days are those pads of yours. <laughs> She is mad. Get please we move. I have to. Like, just look at that expression. She is mad. Why are you glaring at me? Why do you sound like you want to kill me right this instant? こっちから先に来いや。大丈夫ですか見つかさん。まだ侵入者がいたのか。大体どうしてこんな時間に外で何をしてるの。それにさっき止めになってたのは。あなたは一体何者なの。That's <笑> Is getting loud. I don't have any more time to waste. Look, okay? I'm, um, I'm here to protect you! Huh? Only at the fa fact do I realize the stupidity of what I just blurted out. Oh, <laughs> I apologize. I instantly regretted it after I said it. I'm fully aware of the gravity of my actions. <laughs> so we investigated potential suspects involved in a counterfeit money case and found two. The names are Ono Kyokuni and uh, Sugahidito. Uh, and Sugahidito. Based on the profiles of both the individuals, we believe that Sugahidito is uh, most likely the one. By some stroke of bad luck, there happened to be other intruders on the school campus at the same time. We were hacking into the database. They seemed to be after Mitsukasa Ayase. I assume you already know of. While I was in the middle of scouting our escape route, I stumbled upon them trying to kidnap her. One of them pulled out a knife, so fearing for the worst, I jumped in and took them took them out. She did. Once again, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I didn't want to think about what might have happened to her if I didn't intervene. まあ、そういう現場に遭遇したら人命を優先する。お前はそういうやつだと分かってはいたしな。親としては人を助けられる人間で嬉しく思ってはいるんだが、任務の観点から見れば落第だわな。I now, all I told her was... I'm, um... 
I'm here to protect you. Huh? Look, I understand your confusion, but we have more pressing matters on our hand right now. Hands right now. Nobody can find out that I was here. So I need you to tell Kakimoto that you took out these two men. Please help me out. This is really important. I deeply bow to her once more. Well, Miss Kaza does, however, has continued to stare at me in confusion. Normally the manly thing to do in this situation is to keep one said bowed until the other party speaks, but uh... <laughs> I have to go now! Sorry again! <laughs> Ignoring her response, I turn around. I turn off, run off into the trees and turn my stealth function back on. Mere seconds later, Kakimoto and a group of security guards are standing where I once was. Oh hey! Her uniform is magically fixed! はい。私が能力で撃退しました。すみません。いえ、相手はナイフで武装しているんです。当然のことです。それよりも、三塚さんの方に怪我は、その格好、もしや切られたんですかえあ、いや、これは大丈夫です。シャツを切られただけで、怪我はしていませんから、本当ですかはい、かすり傷一つありません。本当です。わかりました。
三笠綾瀬はアストラル使いの今後にも影響を及ぼす。You see that big a deal even among the general public? いや、ネットで人気があろうとも、所詮はただの一学生に過ぎない。だが、もし仮に彼女が何者かに殺害されたとする、その理由はアストラル使いだから、なんてことになりかねない。It's unlikely that everyone would say those things, but still, a significant enough portion of the population still、uh, harbors ill feelings towards astrals. We still have a long way to go as a society before astrals are truly accepted. <laughs> Very hypothetical. Tatemae or Scutti at Terunda or Monk, you know. You know, Chino Kikenga Arunoni, meet a minu fooding a dekina in our Oremo Najda. Kanoja no Goeva Nimutus. Cochera de Modekiru Kangiwa support Mosul. Thank you. Tonica go my wa, Mitskasa Ayaseto Hanashi or Smasero. Ina Sokodish Pais de Gakuini Hokok Saretara Sbetega Ojanda. Sasangani Sonotokiwa. After ending the phone call with my dad, I made my way down to the first floor where Mitsukasa was apparently waiting for me. She's smiling at me warmly. Good morning. ちゃんと朝食に出てきてくれてもしかしたら突然また転校しちゃうんじゃないかって心配だったんです I'm sure somewhere in your heart would, you would be very glad about that since that means nobody at the school has a chance to learn about your padding Wait, what? Did I, I didn't say anything Thanks to you, I don't think I'll have to worry about anything on that front But man Was vol- Voluminous Voluminous, voluminous breasts of hers are actually just layer upon layer of padding. Who'd have thought? Honestly, I have to give props to her craftsmanship. They look as good as real. What is it? Oh, no, sorry. Are you waiting for me by any chance? Yes. Do you want to give me a little bit of time? Sure, but could you tell me what you want to talk about just in case? I want to say it. I know it's not a problem. Sorry, I was just making sure. She really was a good, as good as kind and kind natured as her personality le- let on. I'd have no problem getting her to trust me. But as fate would have it, that also seems to have. That seems to, seems to be fake. Along with her tits. But yeah, we can talk. So until then, I'd appreciate if you could, uh. Ahem. <clears throat> Mm, you're scaring me, I a s k e d my dear! Oh no, not at all, I understand. That's all right. Then, so that's it. Do you want to go to the school in the afternoon? Sure, but I'm、uh, going to give you some time to finish my lunch first. I'm not sure. 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 Thanks. Ja, matte mascara, ne? Man, this smile gave me shivers. She isn't gonna, like, try to kill me in there, is she? De, do you know? Chanto said to the kiss. I'm scared I'll end up with a dagger in my chest, help. <laughs> no idea yet. She's giving me a chance to explain, so hopefully that goes well. De, mo. I guess it's as good as mine! You know, that. I didn't know that would easily give us the upper hand against them. But as of now, I have no clues to work off of. Probably won't be able to investigate that or the counterfeit money stuff at the same time, unfortunately. I'll pl- probably just have to let the chief handle it. Just. Wish me luck. Because I'm gonna need it to avoid dying today. 
ルくん何したの<笑> It's complicated, alright. Nanami is my sister and my work partner, but still, out of respect for Mitsukasa, I probably shouldn't tell her about the pads. Why are you looking at me like that, Nanami? Didn't you say anything? Nantonaku Sashiwa Tsuita. Don't say that key skebede, Nanika Henna Koto Standesho. Shikibe Senpai no Toki Mitaini. Colon de Panti Nugastari, Fukuya Braja Nugastari. Pull something like that off would require an act of God, and fortunately, I'm not that special. Uh, well, uh, I guess? Kind of, in a way? Look, I, I promise. I'll get on her. Uh, I'll get her on our sign. So just spare me whatever insults you have in mind right now, okay? End the conversation at that. The main reason I did that isn't out of my own interest, but rather because there is currently someone running towards us. Oh, hi -ya! <laughs> Short girl runs up to us and shoots a cheerful greeting at none of me. Classmate of hers, I'm guessing. だ。学院にはなれた。いえ、その今日で2日目なので。すみません。別に謝ったりする必要はないよ。何か困ったことがあったらいつでも声をかけてよ。クラスだけじゃなく、寮も一緒なんだから。あ、ありがとうございます。I can tell from the tone of her voice that she's more than a little nervous. But a friend takes no offense from that. Her smile is still as bright as the sun. Well, come to think of it, Nanami did mention something about this other outgoing... This really outgoing girl being in her class. This must be her. Oh, I forgot, just like me and her, like if she introduces herself. Hello, my, my, I'm in the same class as your sister. My name is Miyuchi, Chisak, Mibu Chisaki. He just looks down at her. Why do I feel the ur weird urge to pet you? What? I mean, I'm my name is Satoru Arisaka. Nice to meet you too. I didn't say anything weird just now. Uh, Arihara uh, Arihara Satoru. Uh, did he say Arisaka? Did I fuck up? Because I feel like I fucked up. Oh well. Nice to meet you. None of his older brother by the end of one year. You too. Senpai. Have had any friends younger than me before? So I've never actually experienced someone calling me Senpai before. Gotta say though, it's pretty nice. On that note, I hope you can get along with my, with my sister. She's a bit shy and won't really talk to people unless I talk to her first, but I promise she likes being around other people. If anything, she gets lonely real easily, so please try to make her feel welcome. Welcome at school. I did have to, though. I'm your brother, and it's my responsibility to look, to look out for you. And he's gonna say this stuff if not me. We both know you're way, you're way too shy to do that. Oh, 
Sorry, I know she's a handful. Hi. She nods with a big, wide smile on her face. At which she immediately chases after Nanami. friend like that girl, I think Nanami will be more than well off. <laughs> Probably need to worry more about myself. It's lunchtime and I've come to the president's room after eating, as promised. I'm currently standing in front of the door, taking deep breaths as I prepare myself. After calming my nerves, I knock on the door. It's me, Ariada. Uh, can I come in? <laughs> Hearing that, I step away from the door and wait for her to tell me to come in. I hear voice voices inside. I could probably overhear their conversation if I used my ability, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe it's another interview. A second later, however, the door opens and out walks. Prince Lisa! That's quite alright, sir. Oh god, don't tell me she told him what, about what I did yesterday. Well, I've only been here for two days, so I'm not sure if my opinion means anything yet. But I do find the astron science class to be very interesting. So. まなぶことを楽しめているなら何よりだ。今後もしっかり学んでほしい。Well, He leisurely walks off. I didn't feel any suspicion from him during that short conversation, which is good. Guess he's abiding by my request, at least for the time being. I meant to prepare myself to knock on the door again. Pardon me. Well, this is necessary for me. Uh, uh, this is just ne as necessary for me as it is for you. Oh, and please lock it. I don't want people to accidentally walk in while I s cave out your chest cavity. Carve out. I mean, carve out. Propelled by the force of her gentle smile, I locked the door just like she said. Uh, clicking noise resounds across the sound room. Sorry to interrupt your discussion with the principal. Oh, that's good. I was a little worried. Then, in the blink of an eye, that cheery smile drops to a disinterested half frown. Already figured her first mouth, he was an act when she said she was going to murder me yesterday, but man, talk about in 180, the difference is like night and day. I won't say it's a total opposite, but I sure as hell won't be calling her an angel or goddess anymore. <laughs> Go ahead. There's not a single trace of the gentle kind out in Mitsukasa, Ayase, and the girl before me, lazily munching down on this muffin. Whoops, fuck. Okay. Um, explain what? Alright. Worried about me discovering the breast pads, then. Oh, sorry, I realized you. I didn't realize you were talking about me. Well, 
ましてや宗平とか無乳会長平とかチブ平とかもう一回言ったら潰すはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはい I mean, you're brought up yesterday and figured what that was your biggest worry out of that whole idea ordeal. Oh, um, actually, I didn't see your breasts. The second silicon bra you had on was covering them, so. <laughs> Why? I was literally saying the truth! So, Janai, so did the photo stay to Mori? Hold on! Shinke or Sakana de Sri Yoke Nakotoshka, it did I got to Jikakuste Hoshi in this kid. Sorry, I guess I just lacked conversational skill to do anything helpful in the situation. Might as well just stop trying! But, 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 Here we go. I hate lying to people. I felt awful doing it to uh, need join, and now I'm doing it. I'm gonna have to do it again. I know I don't have a choice. I can't simply tell her everything, but I can't help but feel guilty about it. Well, I still have to say some. I can't stand here silently thinking forever. Push my qualms aside and look Mitsukasa straight in the eye. Means exactly what it does. What do you think it does? I've been tasked with protecting you, and after tonight, I don't think I need it. It needs explaining why protecting you is necessary. So you got to an act. So, but sorry, but I don't have enough knowledge on the matter to adequately answer your question. All I know is that you'll most likely be targeted again at some point in time. Unfortunately, I haven't been informed. But I can't promise you that I'm not an enemy. I'm on your side, I swear. Ariara Sotro, I'm an astral who started school as a second year two days ago at Kika Academy. Well, that is the truth. Sorry, but I can't answer that. I can't answer that. I know, but unfortunately, there's just nothing I can do about that. Her glare is rife with suspicion, but after a second, she just sighs and looks away. I'm kind of surprised you're accepting my non answers. みもとの確認は結構厳しいはずなのに、有原くんは普通に転入することができた。かなり特殊な仕事に従事してるんでしょ。しかも昨日の夜透明になってたわよね。でも有原くんがアストラル能力は身体強化。悪いけど調べさせ
We actually break the law on occasion for what we do. Besides, any entity that operated morally would need to work behind the eyes of the public in the first place. I'm sorry that I have to leave you in the dark, but I just want you to know that uh, I, as an astral, want to use my ability to help people. So when I saw you being attacked yesterday, I just had to do so. But I know it's hard to trust a, pe a person in this short of time, believe me. The fact of the matter is, though, I did save you yesterday. And also came here like you asked, instead of running away. So could you at least hold off on reporting me for now? I just need more time to prove myself to you. I need some more time. <laughs> Whoops. Thanks, really. Hold on. My nose is really annoying right now. Wait, there's no fucking tissues. Oh well. I know that. It's currently being investigated, and that's all I've been told. But at the very least, they're not affiliated with us. Hence, why can't we can't, hence we can't guarantee your safety in the coming days and weeks. So with that in mind, try to always be with someone when you're out in public. They've waited until you were alone yesterday, so it's probably safe to assume they won't attack if you're with people. I'm not saying it has to be a security guard or anything, just a friend would be okay. Though the problem is when you go off campus to, for those interviews. Did they mention what exactly they'd be doing? I don't know what they'd be doing, but they Oh no, I just wanted to understand how secure it'd be. I might have to get in touch with my dad and see if he can figure anything out for me. It's also me that I'll have to rescout the campus at grounds sometime until they finish installing this stuff. Honestly, God, I would just straight up say, like, well, me protecting you isn't exactly supposed to be public knowledge, so I did have to actually look up ways to evade security. So now I'll have to look again, so I can slip out of my room unnoticed and patrol. If need be. We're in the same class anyway, so... You don't really need to tell me about what you're up to on ordinary days. However, I'd like you to tell me when you go off to school camps for some reason. Also, um, uh, can I ask you one more thing? I was a little curious about something. You are an astral yourself, right? So why didn't you use your ability when those man men attacked you? I mean, her ability was powerful enough to save lives during the building collapse. During any uh, building collapse. That was the initial incident that kickstarted her popularity. If there was some reason why you can't, I think it'd be safe to, to inform me in advance. Well, from what we've seen in the opening, it looks like it's almost like some kind of like black hole anti-matter thing. Her muffin is now finished. Her muffin now finished? She gets up from her chair. So that immediately excludes the black hole and anti-matter thing, since I don't think it's safe to use on someone. Sure, just don't hurt me, please. I don't, don't use me as a punching bag to vent all your anger. Perfect. Huh? But I suddenly feel myself assaulted by some invisible force. It's very similar to that time when I was being pushed down by a psychokinesis. 
close brutal enough that I can almost hear my joints creaking. If I had to describe it, it's like uh, downward pressure. Gravity? Is this some form, of psych some form of psychokinesis? Oh! Whew! The intense force vanishes all of a sudden. My body feels so light now. Light isn't right, what's going on here? The invisible force hits me again. But it's not quite the same this time around. It's like it's reverse directions. I now feel my body being pulled towards the ceiling. She just has full on gravity control. Like she has the ability I thought Mayu had. I just realized I still had the fucking... Why do I keep forgetting the fucking webcam as of late? Help! <laughs> my heels lift off the ground, shortly followed by my toes, and eventually my whole body is floating upward. Up and up I go until my head finally bumps the ceiling. You're on some purpose, aren't you? It's the crap out of me, but no, not real. I just lightly hit my head. And, though, floating is such a weird sensation. It's legitimately frightening. That would literally just be gravity. Basically, like that is a uh, gravity plus. Because if you have noticed, like, not just the Earth has gravity, so do you. You have gravity. So does your mother. So does your neighbor. So does your old elementary school teacher. They all have, have gravity. It's just too weak to actually do anything. I have gravity. Put both me and this gun in a state of absolute zero gravity, and we will slowly but surely start hovering towards each other. Each other. It'll just be so fucking slow, it's absolutely neg negligible. Yeah. My body, now freed from her power, falls down to the ground. It brought me down pretty gently, so it didn't hurt at all. So it didn't get hurt at all. Sliding on solid ground again, I redirect my eyes towards her. I can see why this ability would be handy during a building collapse. Next sense. So it's not really something you can just use on command. Gotcha. That's that isn't too unusual. She just ha she has to adjust power output to control her abilities. So activation demands a substantial amount of concentration. I know because my ability works the same way. However, it is possible to drastically shorten the process. You just have to use it enough to the point where it becomes muscle memory almost. It's not quite like the routines that Nami mentioned, but there are people who. Are Use auto suggestion to familiarize their body with the, using their ability. Given given the nature of given the nature of our work, all SFD members are able to use their abilities on a moment's notice, my, my, myself included. Not me as well. I know she used those funky incantations that one time, but it's just a thing she enjoys. She'll skip them in emergencies. <laughs> but it's definitely not something you can just learn overnight. It takes a lot of time to practice to get to to the point where you can use your ability like that. Thanks, that answered all my questions. Given the potential of it to affect you as well, you probably shouldn't use it without careful consideration. Can I have your number by any chance? If anything ever happens, I want you to contact me immediately so I can come and help you. What kind of person do you think I am? On second thought, no, I'd rather not. That smile of hers is frightening, it makes me shiver. But despite her reluctant, half reluctance, it's still I still successfully exchanged numbers with her. Great, uh, here's hoping we can get through this together, Mitsukasa. Albeit very begrudgingly from the looks of it, she has given me a chance. That's something to be happy about. 
I no longer have to worry about being taken over, taking off my undercover mission here. In the process, I've gained another mission on top of it. Protecting this girl named Mitka Sayase. Little Joker! Oh hey, there's Lena again. Somebody did ask me if I managed to find Tsumugi in the background, so now I'm fucking paranoid. Where's Tsumugi? <laughs> Currently standing out in the hallway, peeking into a certain classroom. It's a first year classroom, but not none of these. All the kids inside are merely enjoying lunchtime. Oops. Some are sitting down chatting, while others are sitting, getting up to go to either the bathroom or the canteens. Basically, it's your typical hectic break this uh, break break time scene. Among the throng of people, I'm noticed on one and I'm focused on one in particular, a timid boy looking boy with glasses, Suga Hidato. He's not with anyone else, just sitting in his seat, occasionally <coughs> throwing a gl glance out the window. He seems lost in thought about something. He <laughs> sure doesn't look like the kind of guy who'd willingly commit a crime. Uh, that's just my subjective impression, though. Besides, responding to a robbery attempt by giving the robber fake money is a rather passive approach. Consider how versatile his ability consider consider how versatile his ability considering how versatile his ability is, could have easily fought them head on. Also, my dad already mentioned this, but the idea of specifically creating fake money to get out of a robbery is a little odd. And fortunately for him, it got him into an even bigger predicament than the one he was initially in. Yeah, I can't really see this guy being too fast. I've come across plenty of them in my time with the SFD. People who seem so good and pure-hearted that you'd never imagine the kind of bad stuff they're up to. I've learned how hot I've learned how to spot them by now, and this guy does just doesn't fit the bill. It's the kind of person who's so weak-hearted and timid that if he ever com ever committed a crime, even by accident. He'd regret it for life. <laughs> Hearing my name, I look back to the hallway and find a girl standing next to me. Oh, Mibu, hello there. Yep, but I can't find her in, the, in there anywhere. Really? I guess I, that explains it. Much to my embarrassment. Mibu lightly takes my hand and flashes me a smile. Oh, oh sure, thanks. We're in the right in the middle of lunch break right now, which means the hallways are filled with students. But Mibu doesn't seem to care about the possibility of people seeing her holding my hand. Well, considering how much Nanami talks up uh, her sociability, I guess this wouldn't come as a surprise. But me, on the other hand, I can't even remember the last time I held hands with a girl. I'm sure I did at least a couple times during school events and stuff, but outside of that, probably never. As sad as that is. Nanami-chan? <laughs> Thanks again, Mibu. いいえ、お気になさらず。もう教室を間違えちゃダメですよ。Yeah, <笑>ななみちゃんてれてる。可愛いって言われるの苦手。じゃなくて今の発言がシスコンっぽくてキモいっていうか。そもそもそんな恥ずかしい兄がいるのかキモいというか。相変わらずお兄さんにはっぱり
<laughs> I don't know if I want her acting like some different person. But I, but I don't know if I want her acting like some different person. Anime doesn't need to change any at all. I love her for who she is. What? I would never! Actually, nothing. No, I mean I was checking on Suga Hidato. The chief got in touch with me this morning. He said we've they've discovered a security cam that actually captured footage of him at the robbery. So when those scooter theft the thieves were shown his picture, they recognized his face. <laughs> yep, they were positive that they'd seen him before, but just couldn't seem to remember where. <laughs> It'd have to be. He probably severed whatever links their brains had made between him and the incident. Oh, and the other guy, uh, Ono K Kyokuni, has an alibi. They confirmed that he was at work all day. <laughs> My guess is he only created the fake money out of fright and desperation. The chief also said they found in no further instances of similar fake money being used. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that tonight. I'll probably have to get a little mean with him. I wanna, but I need to get the point across. <sighs> Help! Sure. I run into Kakimoto on the way back to the classroom. She then stops me. What is it? No, is it something about master ability? はい。あ、と言っても身構える必要はありません。授業に必要なものを持っているか確認を取りたかっただけですから。有原君は水着を持っていますか？I don't unfortunately. My previous school didn't have swim classes. そうですか。ではすみませんが準備をしておいてもらえませんか？ Will any normal pair of trunks work? Is it hot enough outside for swimming now? Oh, actually, I remember hearing that in the orientation video I watched. Okay.Stairs,uh...Is there school provided swimwear for classes? セフクのように強制ではありません。ほとんどの学生は自由な水着を着用しています。もし指定の水着で良ければ、サイズを私に伝えてください。オッケー。それでは。Hey, ああ、そっか。来週の体育って水着がいるんだっけ。どうかな。9月だし、今なら<笑> I should be able to find some just stro strolling through a shopping mall. 多分もしかしたら終わってるかもしれないけど。最悪スポーツ用品店に行けばあるんじゃない? Gotcha, thanks for the help. Just wait, Satoru. 
その年で迷子になるのも嫌でしょ ?Sure, I don't mind, but you don't have anything else planned, do you? 構わないさ。初日の約束を果たすのに、ちょうどいいタイミングが来たってことなんだから。Sweet, I guess I'll have you come with me then. もちろん。ついでにおすすめの美味しいお店も紹介するよ。Oh, cool. お任せあれ Nanami will probably need something too, so I should invite her. Still, I feel bad about the whole thing with Shikibe and her, so I can make, up to her, make it up to her with this. Hopefully, she'll be satisfied if I buy her a new swimsuit. Hold on. Like the, the voice now that he, someone has mentioned it to me does sound very familiar. But I can't place it right now, and it's pissing me off. I want to say Chris, Chris, Chris from Magikoi, but I'm not sure. Uh, little. Joker, VN database. <laughs> no, let me just look up the voice actors for the main characters. Kusahara Yui for Nanase, we don't even need to look at Sawasawa Sawa. Haruka Sora, Haruka Sora does sound familiar. Nishizono Sumika, we already know that that's. Goro. Yoshino, you know what? Fuck it. Mm, Mibu as well. Okay, so first, Ishiyama Mai. That should be. Uh... Hold on. Ah, that is not someone we know. Oh, that's Meguru. So uh, apparently, uh, Nanami is also Meguru from uh, Oshiori Yumimirai, Rika's sister. And oh yeah, that's how someone told me. It's apparently Corona from Lamination. So there's that as well. There's little Joker. <sighs> That's it, apparently. And Sendai Iri, that is uh, her. Let's see. That's Chiharu from Koiken Otome. Kana from Daitoshokan. I'm a, I'm a disgrace. It's A2 and onward, uh, um, Mayuchi. And also Sheila Colombo in A3. It's also Meguru. Yeah, there we go. I should have heard it from the, that. Let me just, uh, Move this over here. Suppose I slightly hear it, heard it just now. And Michi. I should have heard it from the Michi. Like I thought, okay, stern vo character, stern voice. Who do I remember with a stern voice? Chris. But now that I think about Chris's voice, yeah, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it at all. Also, Yoshino. Why am I such a retard? This one should be... Mibu. Oh, she's Lydia in Death End Request. Intriguing. 
at least the Japanese were Lydia. I only know the English Lydia. She she has not voiced a lot of characters. It seems. And most of her voice input uh, vo vo voice cast is a lot of her voice roles are being starred as Kanako instead of instead of uh, Fujita Kane. Anyways, Kyo is gonna show me around the city. So, ]外出の時はちゃんと提出するようにな。分かってるさ、それぐらい。うん。な、何スオはそう言いながらもコンビニに行くだけだからとたまに出さないこともあると聞いているぞ。うん。すぐに戻ってくるから面倒で。面倒な気持ちはわかるが、規則は規則だ。寮長としても守ってくれないと困
and secretly just hides pads, just like sew pads into the fucking thing. So, shopping mall,に水着を買いに行くのは決まりってことでいい。Yep. Sure, that's fine by us. We're going this weekend. Does that work for you? Ah, uh, というかDVDを見ようかと思っていたくらいだ。いつでも見られるものだから気にしないでくれ。カルティビティーズ、DVDーズあるキュリアシティ。あ、いや、それは。Sorry、I、you さっきから黙り込んでますけど、有原くんが考えてるようなDVDじゃないことだけは確かですよ。Hey, don't jump to conclusions. Uh, my first thought when she said embarrassing was porn. Yeah, and that's what I thought. Yes, of course, I do not know what this thing you call PORNO is. Her face is as red as a lobster right now. Wow, so you do know? Yeah, at the latest point, at this point, I would have been able to tell Neguru. Screw it yourself, good there, need you in. Well, her age, she has to at least know about sex. It'd be strange for her not to. I'm um, actually judging by her reaction to what I said. Maybe she's actually a closet pervert. An embarrassing one? なんだっけ。荒くれ大将軍とかが好きなんだっけ。ああ、だが、鬼金ハンカチャーも好きだぞ。DVDも全巻持っているし、今週は鬼金を見るつもりだったんだ。I know that show. What's so embarrassing about it? だって、おじいちゃんみたいだろ。好きな番組が大劇だなんて。Really? I don't think so. There's nothing strange about a girl your age being interested in them. So, so well, kids are dumb. They'll tease you for just about anything. There's really nothing embarrassing about it. So, hmm. Historical dramas, though. I don't watch too many of those. You know, I definitely haven't seen Onikin. Nani? Sure, I'll take you up on that one of these days. I find myself packing up as Nijuin, I sparkling hinges ever closer to me. Damn, I never imagined to be imagined her to be uh, imagined her being this much of a history nut. But I guess it does suit her to an extent. That's probably why I was uh, thinking, uh, Chris, because she is giving off hard Chris vibes. Let's hope her rat doesn't involve her buttholes as much as Chris's did. Then again, there's no sex scene in this, so it shouldn't be too bad, I guess.
Oh, by the way, this, uh, this pistol is at this point is so fucked that I can just, uh... I got pistol whip someone to reload. <笑>まあ、それはともかく。予定はそれぐらいだから、もし<笑> 水着が必要になることもある。セールをしているということだし、慎重しようかと思ってな。ゴー、ゆ Reload, like just reload first. Say, reload bullets. Shoot, 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 and for the sixth one, sixth one, shoot like that for quick reload. <laughs> Even though that would most definitely miss. So da, Mitsukasa-san mo isho ni ikanai ka? Watashi mo desu ko? Moshi, nani mo yoken ga nakereba da ga.休みの日もいつも取材とかで忙しそうだしね。ちなみに明日も何か入ってるの？いえ、しばらくそういった仕事の予定はなく、時間はあるんですが。だったらどうだ？実は私はおしゃれには疎いんだ。だが、たまには可
ちょっと水着がきつくなってきてるので一緒に買い替えようかなそうなのかよしでは一緒に買い替えよう We all know that's a filthy lie, I guess. You haven't outgrown shit. Bigger. Right. Huh? No, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. She's slowly approaching me with that wicked smile on her face. I instinctively stagger backwards, but she doesn't relent. After we're separated a fair distance from the group, she scowls at me. You don't need to. You don't need to make up excuses. I, I, I mean, you don't have to explain yourself. I, I didn't say excuses. Please believe me. Don't murder me. <laughs> Look, I never said I wasn't. So, so much. So, so much. Oppa is a sickly and frail man. So, so much. 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 How does that make sense? That's why I'm still growing. If I'm growing, I'm not going to be able to grow. Well, I'm not growing, so I'm also growing. It's really, really true. So I'm still growing. I'm still growing. I adore Ayas' character so much. And I honestly got to really want to go for her route first. But apparently her route has spoilers for all the other routes. So I have to do it last. And I really, really want to go for it immediately. Just because I enjoy her character just that much. Mm. I forget, has there already been a choice? Oh yeah, between Nanami and Shikibe. Let's see, any, like, tiles we forgot, uh, Nanami's watching, can you continue the test with Shikibe? Test concluded, mission commences, her secret, who's behind the fake money? For the umpteenth, plenty of room to grow is the achievement I just got. You know what the title's gonna be. For the umpteenth tenth time, I did not ever, ever say anything to the contrary. Look, I believe you. Your current swimsuit feels tight around the chest, so you're buying a new one, right? I'm not doubting you, so just calm down. Between and Kyohei are already look already looking at us weird. Sorry to freak out mere seconds ago, she someone managed to switch back to her usual calming demeanor just like that. It smells so sweet, I could almost picture flowers behind it. I'll get back to you guys later once I ask her. For real. The way you can just flip on that fake persona at the snap of a finger is unrevealed. Like, I'm almost worried about your mental health. The more I learn about you, the scarier you get. Like, honest to God, like, from him, it would actually be kind of a compliment, since, you know, he kind of would need an ability like that, just uh, his, like, the ability to act like that. Since, you know, breaking character in the middle of a mission would be very bad. <laughs> so, are you set, or do you need to come with us? ほら。だったら買いに行かないとまずいね。ななみちゃんって顔に似合わず結構いいもの持ってるもんね。そりゃ収まるわけないよね。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちさきちゃん。こんなところで何を
Calm down, Nanami. All overreacting does is draw more attention to it. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, should I go ahead and tell the others you're, you're coming for sure? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, do you want to come too, Mibu? <laughs> sure, if you want to. <laughs> なみちゃんの水着を do you know a lot about clothes and fashion, Mibu? I works out nicely. Nijuin also needs to pick out something and she wanted uh, some advice from other girls. Oops. Thanks. Got that square away. Which just leaves one last thing on the agenda for today. Do some basic stretches to see how my body's doing. Seems perfect. I don't feel any pain or aching. My head also feels fine, so I'll be able to use my body without any issues. Let's do this. Sugihito lives in dorm 4, which is the one next to ours. So obviously it's not close enough for me to open my window and jump over, but a walk over there is more than 30 seconds at most. I don't think it's raining or anything either. I go to, over to the window to double check, and lo and behold... Really like this rope swing, swinging thing, huh? Stop doing. You not need to stop before you actually do. Seriously, call me first before you do something like that. There's nothing to be worried about, really. Security is much laxer in the dorms than it is in the school building. If I, I've already checked it, into it and confirmed that I'll be able to get in without her assistance. いくら大丈夫って言われても I feel like she always makes use of her little sister charms when requesting something of me like this. Fine, you can wait here. And bring her brother! I can't ever bring myself to say no to her. 
Okay, I'm heading out now. See you soon. Oh, hello there. Ex fucking excuse me, what? Uh, hold on. That that's a Tsumigi figurine. And that's a Sabbath of the Witch poster. That one also looks familiar. Is that like an idol, Elena? That one is an earlier users of title as well. I know just don't remember the name right now. Hold up. Uh Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, Tenshin Ranma, Lucky or Unlucky. By Usersoft and Russell, apparently. Also, it's apparently translated by Sekai Project. What? Has it an official translation? <coughs> no, it is an unofficial patch. <laughs> Yep, that is definitely that poster. So yeah, Sabbath the Witch. Tsumugi. Idol Elena, I guess. I don't know for sure, though. Then... Tenshin Ranma, Lucky or Unlucky. I suppose that could potentially... Be... Only potentially, though, be a Brasame figurine. I don't know who that last one is. Wake up. Wake up, I said. Bet you think you're fucking clever, don't you? I'm a goddamn eyes, kid. I'm right in front of you. Quit your yapping, kid. Quit screaming for fuck, for Christ's sakes. It's the middle of the goddamn night. Don't you have any consideration for your damn neighbors? You know about that fake money you created to fool those crooks, kid? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like I'm right. Save me the time, uh, saves me the time of having to interrogate your ass. Are well, you ready, kid? It's time to pay for your little fuck up. <laughs> Thanks to you, the cops got suspicious. When right as we were finally getting ready to go forward with our goddamn plan, too. Our shit was fucking foolproof. No one, not even the fucking appraisers, could tell it was fake. And our sponsors were really looking forward to getting their hands on it, let me tell you. Right as we got excited, thinking we were finally gonna recoup our investment, raking big bucks, some shit looking counterfeit bills got found. <laughs> Our whole business is fucked up now, kid! You understand that, you little fuckhead?! I don't give a shit what you were, you were or weren't trying to do. Fact is, you fucked us over big time with that dumbass decision of yours. We're talking about money you won't even earn over your entire life, Lang. Yeah, over your entire life, kid. Paying ain't an option. You took this little joke of yours too far, pal. Cool, I don't give a shit. You don't want this to happen, you never should have used your ability like that. It's your life for regrets now. Good. 
by plenty of time to make amends in your life, next life. So Did he pass out and piss himself? Uh... I MIGHT have gone a little overboard? Yeah, definitely. I was talking to, to the guy like some Yakuza boss. I usually hate lying, but when it comes to dishing out punishments like this, I get really into it for some reason. Oh no, he's an S. I can imagine what most of the sex scenes are gonna be like. I mean, it's not like I enjoy doing it, but it's necessary. If he did something like this again, he might seriously end up dead. I have to be mean for it to have any effect, but... Honestly, I have to say, I didn't expect him to straight up faint. Hopefully he's learned his lesson, though. Now, oh, before I leave, I'm gonna leave something so he doesn't think it was just a dream. I took a piece of paper out of my pocket. It's a plain piece of scrap with, uh, 10,000 yen scribbled on it. It's a fake. Of his fake. Basically a reproduction made by me of his counterfeit bills. Those are important pieces of evidence to us. Unfortunately, I can't take them with me. I don't do what I'm about to do with this one. I ripped the paper and spread, across his, uh, spread it across his desk. That should do the trick. This should make him much more worry, wary to use his ability for things in the future. Of course, he will be going on to a watch list of people with potentially dangerous abilities after this incident. Unbeknownst to him, that is. But considering the alternatives, namely getting arrested or getting kidnapped by some criminal group, I'd say he got it pretty fucking good. Now to make my escape. <laughs> I jumped from the third floor and landed safely. I constantly surveyed my surroundings and picked up as much information as I can. Sight, smell, sound, nothing strange. It's quiet, still, a typical night. I don't seem to have been discovered, which is good. Better hurry back to my room. But upon taking a single step, I hear a splashing noise from below me. The foot feels like it stepped on something. What's this? Looking down confirms that it's a liquid. It's, there's li so little of it, though, that it'd be easy to miss. It's transparent, has no smell, nor any stickiness. Water? It didn't rain today. Which only begs the question of how it got here and nowhere else. My body reacts reflexively before I could even process what just happened. A small projectile whizzes by a mere inches from where I was just standing. Holy shit! After it hit the ground, it burst apart, scattering and wetting the surrounding area. Water bullet! This must be an astral ability! What? What's the dream doing here? It's way past lights out and bedtime. Immediately after she shouts that, another water bullet flies past me. I managed to twist my body and evade it. Okay, can can't you pick my location? I have my stealth function activated right now. The water. Is that the work of some ability or what? The water. Fucking have time to sit and come contemplate that. Priority number one right now needs to be getting the hell out of the out of here. I turn around in the dire opposite direction of the dorms and break out into a dash. You shouldn't be able to give pursuit without being able to see me. <laughs> Fucking you should have asked some way of finding uh, of finding out where I was. They can't shake her off! What the hell is going on?! Even looking past how she's rendering my stealth camp uh, completely useless, her attacks are still somewhat coming after me with impeccable precision despite the fact that I'm weaving in and out of her blind spots. There's just no way she's relying on sight alone to track me. Then what the hell is she using? <laughs> まだこの付近にいます。すぐに応援が来る。無理をするなよ。はい。ありがとうございます。
So there's extra manpower they were getting. Didn't need security guards, but astrals. There's not the turn of events I expected. If I don't figure out something out quick, I'm screwed. よく聞け。くせ者。ここは完全に包囲している。逃げ場はないぞ。おとなしく出てこい。素直に出てくればよし。出てこないなら多少の怪我は覚悟してもらおう。どうやって出てくるつもりはないか。そうか。残念だな。
Let's turn my eyes and focus on the bush to see if my hunch is correct. I don't see anything. But no, that can't be right. Fine, we'll try this. Bingo. Found the threads of water. They're cleverly hidden behind shadows in a way that makes them near undetectable. They're ridiculously thin, though, so I had to enhance my brain's information processing capabilities to my ability just to see them. I'm assuming that whatever... And whenever something makes contact with these threads, Nijuin is notified via Astron feedback. Analyzing them closer, they seem to be placed in <gasps> almost all the camera's blind spots. This was well thought out by her. But damn. This makes things a million times harder now. At least I now know how she was able to track my position, even though I was invisible. <laughs> these things are gonna be up till morning, she said. Ugh. Astron fixation was what they called it. Maybe that has something to do with... Or maybe that was something they developed by studying Shiki visibility. Well, it doesn't matter. I need to get back to my room quickly without tripping any of these. I know we're sneaking out after this. I'll probably want to lie low for the... Lie low for the time being. <laughs> Satoru -kun, how was that? One sec. Stop none of me with a hand and look outside the window. Okay, good, nothing out of any ordinary. Doesn't seem like anyone spotted me on my way back. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Just about had a run in with the security guard, fellas. Uh, thankfully, I managed to get out without being seen, though. But on the flip side, we're probably not gonna wanna go out at night for a while. <laughs> No, 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 that, not that. I'm talking about something completely different from what we are thinking of. The mission itself went fine, considering how he reacted. I doubt we'll have to worry about anything like this from him ever again. <laughs> Can you give me a glass of water? I'll tell you after I get some liquid in my throat. That close call was so nerve-wracking that it made my throat dry up. Hi. Thanks, Nanami. As I listen to the soothing voice of my sister, I take the glass and drink. The tension leaves in my body and my heart beating heart calms. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Immediately f wipe my cheek and find that she's right. That's blood, all right. And one of Nijuin's bullets, not a single one of them grazed me. Whoops. Must have been a twig or something that cut it. I'm fine, enemy. You don't need to waste your ability on a measly little scratch like this. Well, yeah, but still. <laughs> like, don't worry, this the scratch is nothing. That was close. That's... That's a lot of foam. We go almost all the way to the top. Well, I was trying to hint that as he just starts drinking it, the liquid comes out of the scra scratch in his cheek. Oh, Okay, I'm ready. There we get it. Immediately thereafter, she reached out to my cheek. Like last time, I feel a gentle warmth spread throughout my body. Honestly, Nanui's ability is a lifesaver for someone with a job like mine. Well... Technically, it's beneficial to just about everyone. Researchers rec 
recognized this as he'd expected and focused a lot on their of their initial efforts on developing technology based on healing abilities, but they've yet to make any breakthroughs. The reason is actually pretty simple. Uh, healing is much harder to control and just than any other ability, which only makes integrating it into technology that, technology that much more difficult. There's no sense in... There's no sense in healing a wound if it only results in the outbreak of another someplace else. Also, astrals, astrals with healing abilities do the needed control and fine-tuning on a subconscious level. Basically, it's all intuition-based. Economy kind of makes it look like cake, but it's actually an immensely difficult thing to get right. But, and then you also have to remember that astrons react differently to everyone. How fine-tuning works exactly differs from person to person. I mean, since we know what uh, Hinami's ability actually is, she should be act technically she should technically be able to cause tumors. Basically, the point is, beating abilities are very complicated. Incidentally, SFT, the SFT once tried their hands at it by infusing memory fiber with healing astrons. <gasps> but they encountered an insurmountable number of problems, so the project was quickly scrapped. Nope, that was it. Thank you so much, Nanami. I don't know what I'd do without you. Annoying. Riddle Joker. So yeah, uh, gave the guy a pretty mean warning. Uh, he, uh, kind of fainted. <laughs> of course not, I kicked his bed some, but never him. He mentioned that he regretted doing it, and I believe him. I could tell it's been in the back of his mind ever since. Seemed worried about the possibility of someone finding out and him getting in big trouble over it. Aside from the fainting, everything else went as planned. Ripped up our fake money and scattered it on his desk for leaving. I highly doubt he woke up thinking it was a dream. He lives in a different dorm, so I wasn't able to observe his behavior much, but I, it, it, I did at least confirm that he was in the canteen that morning. He was also looking restlessly and looking around restlessly and didn't eat much of his food. こちらの捜査で必要となった場合にエイムスから情報を引き出して、あとは普通に学生生活を過ごしてもらう。そのつもりだったんだがな。まさか護衛なんて任務が発生するとは。I was actually wondering about that. Were you able to discover anything about the men who tried to attack Mitsukasa? 二人とも何も喋らない。誘拐しようとしたことは認めても、Mitsukasa彩瀬のファンだと言い張っている。もちろん。うのみにせずに調査を進めている最中だ。進展があれば連絡を入れる。もう少し待て。それまでレビー6は護衛任務を継続。Sorry, but I just have a concern with regards to my my guarding of Mitsukasa. She and I are going out shopping today with a group of our friends. Shopping malls are pretty crowded areas, and I have instructed her to always stay with others when in public from now on. You know, it's unlikely that they try anything in broad daylight, and in a location with so many other people around at that. But I'm still a bit worried. What do you think? That's right. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this 
下準備もなくそんな大胆な行動を取る相手ならうちの網に引っかかるはずだしな陽動を使うことはなかっただろう念のため警戒はしておこう何かあれば連絡を入れる OK I'll call you if anything happens あじゃあな通信終了 Oh, I better get going now or I'll be late. みんな揃ったかなはいはい。Oh, that's everyone's regular everyday outfits. You still have a very nice sweater.、Uh, that's hers is the only one we haven't seen, and I actually do like, quite like the braiding. I really want to go fly as this route. Kimi got Saturn no it. はじめまして水内ちさきと言いますみなさんよろしくお願いします三笠綾瀬ですよろしくお願いします僕は須尾京平よろしくね私は二条院葉月だちさきくんは確か一年 A 組だったなあそうか七海くんのクラスメイトか私のことを覚えてるんですかもちろんだゆっくり話すのは今日が初めてかもしれないが私の管理する良性なことだ顔と名前は覚えているぞ光栄ですありがとうございます今日はよろしくお願いしますこちらこそよろしく頼むそれからその水着のアドバイスのこともはい頑張らせてもらいますああありがとうそれじゃあ早速出発しようか。Come to think of it, you never told me where the, main, where the mall is. Is it somewhere nearby? いいよ、駅前。ライトレールに乗っていくよ Oh, she's back there again. Oh, no, it's nothing important. Nanda, Kinginaru got a car and a Nanda might declare Kinginap the Gakuni Kimotuari. Oh, okay.、Uh, but just forewarning, it really is nothing important. I just thought you looked a little sleepy. So, Nana Sakinai Kao stay taka. Damedana. I mean, it wasn't ugly or anything. Just looked like you didn't get enough sleep or something. So, I mean, it wasn't ugly or anything. Just looked like you didn't get enough sleep or something. I just heard the rumors. Apparently, some fans of Mitsukasa snuck in and were arrested. So, I mean, it wasn't ugly or anything. Just looked like you didn't get enough sleep or something. Oh, you are. セキュリティ強化の危機器を取り付けるまでの臨時だとはいえいつもより就寝が遅くてな眠そうに見えたのならきっとそのせいだろう、oh, so right、them? いやそれが実はセンサーに反応があったんだ、Another、intruder そのクセモノを捕まえようとしたんだが実はクセモノではなく野良猫で I mean, good thing you think you noticed, Nora. That, that man is a very, very weird person. He's a, he's a loose cannon. Just don't try to kiss him, he'll turn naked. <laughs> Judging by the way she's talking, it doesn't look like she's found me out. I'm in the clear, for now at least. Well, good thing it wasn't an actual intruder. So, I was so nanda. Hazukashi, yara, moshu, a kena, yara. Well, you're new to the job, right? Things like that are bound to happen. Considering you're still getting used to things and aren't getting enough sleep on top of that, I'll bet you're pretty stressed. That's good. Well, hopefully, you'll be able to forget about all that and have some fun today. ここがわしずサイドモールさ。はい。え
That's Sumugi, isn't it? And that's Ryo! Why are Ryo and Sumugi hanging out? At least I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Tsumugi. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I, than I pictured. I just envision it being like one of those big supermarkets you see in, in the outskirts of cities. I don't mean to sound insulting or anything, but I never expected it to be this nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's neat. Mm. Yeah, not really. <laughs> yeah, I'll take basically whatever as long as it's not something weird. Sounds good to me. As everyone starts walking, I approach Mitsukasa. I just want to remind you again. I doubt anything, anything will happen in such a crowded place during a broad daylight, but still, do not wander off anywhere by yourself. Sure, what is it? Is that the truth or come up with a convenient lie? It's a different it's a difficult decision. Well no point in hiding things now, I guess. She and I transferred them at the same time, so I doubt that she'd buy it if I said she wasn't related in either way. Yeah she does, she knows everything, so you can also go to her if you ever need anything. Well, I say anything, but keep in mind you place more of a supportive role. She'll be able to give you information, but that's about it. Also, uh, can I ask one more thing? It's, well... Important for your swimsuit top to fit properly, so I was just wondering if you'll be alright. Can you still try stuff on while leaving your pads on? I'm just trying to look out for you, okay? そんなことまで心配してもらわなくても大丈夫です。自分のパッドぐらい自分で守ります。いや、そもそもパッドパッド言わないでほしいんですけど。Sorry, I'll try not to uh, to do it. I'll try not to again to do it again. 二人ともどうしたんだ？早く来ないとはぐれてしまうぞ。あ、ごめんなさい。すぐに行きます。Oh, hey, that's Elena. That one up there, I can't recognize as any character right now. Maybe from a game I haven't played, I don't know. But she looks like she could be a character. <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. All I know is Elena back there. How's it going? Yep, they fit fine and look normal, that's all I care about. Why not? I mean, I'm taller than you, but I don't feel like that makes much of a difference. なぜか僕って女の子に見られることもあるんだよね。でしょうね。そこで納得されちゃうのか。私もだよ。女の子に間違われて嬉しいはずないじゃないか。全く失礼しちゃうよ。Maybe <笑> でも、女顔であることを笑われるのはやっぱり嫌だよ。Yeah, I can. 
カチンときますよねえあ,あうんそうそうだね She related his experience so much that she just jumped in and cut me off. Like her inordinate feverishness was so much. Like her inordinate feverishness was so much that it was. that it waited out Kyohe. Mitsukasa senpai mita in a hito demo, so you know, are in this call? Eh? Ah, so you are. He's 100% talking about her breast size. Amari fuka tazne na ho ga yi. ミツカサさんは取材やネットの露出も多いからな私たちにはわからない苦労も多いはずだあ,あそっかごめんなさいミツカサ先輩い,いえいいんです気にしないでくださいあんな反応をしたら質問したくなるのも当然だと思いますから<笑>それと私のことは綾瀬で構いませんよわかりました綾瀬先輩私のことも、どうぞ千崎って呼んでくださいはい、千崎さんそれよりも、今度は女性陣の水着だここからは僕は案内できないから、任せたいんだけどあ、じゃあ私、行きたいお店がありますならここは、千崎
買い物に決まってるかお揃いのものでも買いに来たのかなあここで会ったのも何かの縁ですしよければ式部先輩も一緒にどうですか My you in a swimsuit, 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 my you in a swimsuit. It's just like, fuck, 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 fuck! That's, that's all that expression is saying. Hold on, what did I say? What's the name of the part gonna be again? I already forgot what the name of the part was gonna be. Somewhere about the one hour mark. Yeah. Mm, it's annoying me that I forget. Anyways. I don't know why I'm reading off of OBS right now. Be looking like she's summoning cursed spirits right now. Hi, 
Well, I guess when you use pads, you can just adjust or subject until you get the right size. Perfect it, so actually kind of useful when you think about it like that. <laughs> At the right moment, the aforementioned thought crosses my mind. I got a death clear from Itsukasa. I'm really having a hard time believing her ability isn't telepathy or something. <laughs> I did join them. I'm sure it'll be fun. <laughs> Girl, you're plenty gorgeous to me. Get the fuck in there. Really? I think you'd look just as good in a bikini as they would. I mean, I was just being honest, but at this point, I doubt she'd listen to me if I tried to explain. If I tried to explain that. It's really that bad! Man, she's not very wrong if it adds enough to kill her. Not very strong, I mean. Ah, uh, please repeat. Well, if you say so. Speaking of which, what are you doing at the bar today? Also, something that really bothers me about the opening in this is that there is a shot, like a few, uh, like a bit where. I assume her as a child are just is just walking through a playground, and the animation on that looks extremely suspect for some for some reason. Beckenの外に出た買わないものでもいろいろ見るのが好きなんですか。うん。その質問はいただけないね。恋人にそんなこと言ったら不機嫌になっちゃうよ。女の子の買い物が長いのは話に聞いてましたけど、まさかここまでとは暇すぎる。
There's been no change in situation. I don't sense anyone staring at us. Well, I guess it won't hurt to walk in for a while. What? I never questioned that. I'm not that rude. Honestly, I think you're still just as youthful as they are. Alright, if you insist. Ah, yes. Sister or not sister. Now what? I'm gonna be ending it here. Since choice is always a nice spot to end it on. Mm. And now I remember what I was calling it. Ro what I was gonna call it. Room for growth. Ah, oh, thank god I remembered that. Or I would have had to look through the entire fucking part again. Ah, oh, thank god. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>